Hello and welcome to Model Train Fun. Today we're going to have another look at the uh, wireless mobile station. Um, so when we have the wireless mobile station here, uh, we can actually update it without uh, the uh, central station, which is a huge benefit compared to the uh, normal mobile station 2, where you actually needed a central station uh, to update it. So how do you do that? Well, first you have to go to the uh, Merklin website and then you have to download a new firmware for the uh, uh, wireless mobile station. And after that, you can take uh, your computer or your uh, phone or your tablet and then you uh, connect directly uh, to the uh, wireless mobile station. Um, in this video, I'm going to show how I do it uh, with uh, my computer. But you can do exactly the same thing with your mobile phone or your tablet. Enjoy the video. In order to uh, find the update uh, for the uh, mobile uh, wireless or the wireless mobile or the uh, wireless transceiver box, you have to go to the Macklin website. So here I am on the Macklin website in uh, English, as you can see here. I go to service and here on the downloads, you can see there's MSW updates. However, when I get to this one, it says, oops, an error occurred. I already uh, emailed Macklin about that there's an error on the website and hopefully they will change this in the future. So what do we do now? Well, we just go into German and here you can actually see uh, everything comes up in German. Like my nice browser also uh, even will translate it here for us. However, what we really need uh, to download is the link we have here. So even though it's German, you can recognize this. So you click on this link here and then you will see it actually downloads it. Uh, so I need it uh, on my computer. So of course, this is how it looks on my computer and with my browser, it may look uh, different for you. However, you need to download this one so we can upload it uh, to the uh, wireless mobile station or the wireless uh, receiver box. In order to install the new firmware on the uh, wireless uh, mobile station, uh, we need to uh, first turn it on. How is it we do that? Well, we hold in the stop button until it uh, turns on. And uh, you can see it turns on now. And then we wait patiently uh, till it started up. It's almost there. It says it couldn't find anything, so I'm not don't have it connected to uh, anything right now. I'm just uh, running it by itself. So I hit the little uh, tick box here uh, and then uh, we can go in and see what is the current version number. We do that by hitting shift and then the turnout. And when we do that, we get into the uh, settings for the mobile station. You see it says information out here. I hit the button next to it. And in here you can see it's software version 4.001. By the way, don't forget you can scroll up and down here. Uh, so now I go out of this menu, so I hit the return button and now I want to actually scroll down because I want to get further down in the menu. So I scroll down here. You can see it says VLAN settings. I click next to this one and you can see here we got uh, where we normally uh, uh, configure the wireless network or the wire, Wi-Fi. Uh, however, we need to go to the option a little further below. So we click on the button here. That's down, so this down and that's up, so this is down. And in here there's activate AP mode, so we hit this one here. And here it's so nice to tell us what network are we looking for. So we're looking for a network called MSW603. I believe 603 is the serial number of this uh, wireless mobile station. And the password here is Merklin160, where we use AE uh, as uh, the password here. All right, now let's get back to our computer. Now um, we are back at the computer. The computer is currently connected to the internet, which is not what we want. We wanted to uh, connect to the uh, wireless mobile station. Um, so we need to change the uh, Wi-Fi settings uh, on the computer. On my computer, we can do that by going to the taskbar and we can uh, click on the internet here. And then here you see the different uh, wireless network there is. And now you see there's an MSW603. Uh, so we click on this one here and we hit uh, connect. And uh, now it needs the password. And what was it the password was? was it's Merklin160 uh, with an AE. So M-A-E-R-K-L-I-N-160. 
All right, let's see if it accepts that. It's uh, connecting to the uh, wireless uh, mobile station. You have to be a little patient here. Okay, it's uh, now connected. Um, and you see it says no internet because the wireless mobile station is not connected to the internet. Now we need uh, to uh, go to the web page of the wireless uh, mobile station. So here I'm just going to make a new tab in my browser and it's 192.168.1.1 you need to go to. And if you go to this one here, you can actually see, oh, I'm going to click this away. This is the uh, mobile station and there's even a setup assistant here. Um, I've honestly never tried that. So uh, let's try that. It hits start. Okay. So this is uh, actually where it can go in and find all the networks and so on for you. I'm going to skip it. And here you see uh, the uh, page uh, for the mobile station. You can also see uh, the battery stage uh, uh, status and so on. Uh, don't forget there is additional uh, information here under configuration. So here under settings, I can set the language, for example. I can see uh, additional uh, information as well. Uh, and down here, you can see there's a firmware update. So I click the firmware update here. And in here as well, you can see the firmware is actually version uh, 4.0.0.1. All right, so we uh, go down and we click the uh, manual firmware update. Here it says we has to have to choose the file. So we try and find the file. Um, my file is in the downloads folder. Here's the new firmware. And now I have chosen the file. And now I can hit the start update. Uh, so when I do that, let's uh, go see what happens on the uh, mobile station wireless or the wireless mobile station. And you can see it immediately goes into a progress bar here and it's actually updating. Uh oh, it said error code one. No idea what that means. We hit OK. And now it went out of the uh, mode where I can connect to it. So we go into that again. Oh, that was in VLAN settings here. We go one down and we activate the AP mode or access point mode. Okay, let's uh, try one more time and see what happens. I'm still uh, connected here, I see. All right. Let's uh, go to the error codes and see battery voltage is too low. So you need to make sure that your battery uh, is pretty much uh, close to 100%. Otherwise, it will not uh, do the update. And why is this important? Because if the update is interrupted, then you can actually risk uh, that uh, the update fails and then your wireless uh, mobile station will not be able to work. All right, so I need to go put new batteries in my uh, wireless mobile station. Um, now I have uh, replaced the batteries and I have uh, started up the uh, mobile station wireless or the wireless mobile station and I have put it in the exit point uh, mode again. You can see here I got the uh, network to the wireless mobile station. I'm actually connected. So let's uh, go back and then uh, go to the 192.168.1.1. So it's 192.168.1.1. We go to that one there. And uh, again, it starts up uh, with a setup assistant. We're gonna skip that. You can see even though it's uh, brand new batteries, these are not the best of batteries. They are already uh, showing that they are at 68%. However, let's see if we can uh, do the uh, firmware update. So we go into the firmware update uh, then we hit the uh, manual update here and then we can uh, actually choose the file again. We choose the file. Okay. And then we are ready to start the update. So uh, let's go see what happens on the wireless mobile station. We hit start now. And then actually we see here on the uh, wireless mobile station uh, that it's actually uh, downloading. Very good. And now it restarts. All 
All right, it says uh, no main device found. That's okay. We hit the checkbox and now we hit uh, shift and then the configuration. So the turnout, we go into information and now we see uh, the uh, version number has been updated. Yippee! And uh, this one here, if there's an error code three, it means it's uh, already uh, up to date, which we can also go back and uh, verify uh, on the uh, web page. So we got the uh, web page here and we click the uh, configuration button and then we click info and then we go down to the error code and then it says uh, version already installed. So don't forget this page uh, with the uh, error codes. It's actually a good one to look at. All right, that wasn't really that bad. You had to go to the uh, Macklin website. Unfortunately, the English page uh, doesn't work uh, right now. Hopefully Macklin will get that fixed, but you can go to the German and download it. Um, I showed it uh, how to do it on my uh, computer, but you can also use your cell phone or you can use uh, your tablet as well. The trick here is you first have to be connected to the internet and then you have to be able to download the firmware. That's usually not a problem because that's how by default your phone, uh, tablet or PC works. Um, then you have to uh, turn on your mobile station or your wireless mobile station, put it into the action point mode, so the AP uh, mode, and then you can actually connect to it. And then you use the uh, magic password, which is Macklin 160, Macklin with an AE. And uh, when you do that, you can connect to the uh, small web server that actually exists here on this, um, uh, um, on this device, and then you can upload it. So the, the trick here usually is, I showed it on a computer. If you're using a cell phone, usually uh, the biggest challenge I have is when you download something, where did it go and how do I find it again so I can upload it? Uh, some phones it's easy to figure out, some it's not. Some tablets it's easy, some it's not. So that's why I chose to uh, show it on my computer where I know it goes into a downloads folder. So I really hope uh, you enjoyed this video uh, and please give it a thumbs up uh, and a like. Uh, if you like this uh, video, uh, don't forget to hit the little notification bell if you want to be alerted about future videos. Enjoy!